Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to go over the proper execution of a twist step. In Chinese it's called ao bu. This happens a lot in many of the Tai Chi forms, especially in the Yang form. You will see this in brush knee and twist step. In the Chen forms you'll see this with walk obliquely and twist step and through many of the other postures the twist step occurs. However, most teachers and most practitioners do not do it correctly. If you do the twist step incorrectly, and it is a very tricky step at first, yes, but if you do it incorrectly, you will diminish your martial power for health, you will diminish the integrity of your joints, and in fact, you can hurt yourself. Actually, twist step is one of the worst culprits for why people get hurt in Tai Chi. They don't know how to do it correctly. They do it over and over and over and over again, doing it incorrectly, and then they wind up damaging their knees and saying, oh, I hurt myself. And that can all be avoided. <laughs> um, in a lot of performance wushu, you will also see that the twist step is executed in a way that is often very damaging to the body. That's not to say that everyone does it incorrectly, but too many people do, and it's, it's just not worth doing it incorrectly. You suffer too much risk of hurting yourself. Do it correctly, you can get a lot more whole body power out of your strikes. You will develop balance, you will develop great strong connective tissue, strong joints, and it will help your balance. Okay, come and join me. Let's do the popular use of twist step, which is to go from an L stance to a bow and arrow stance. Now an L stance simply means that your feet form the shape of an L. So I'm gonna put my left foot here and my right foot facing this way. You can mirror me by putting your right foot here and your left foot facing this way. And my feet are in the shape of an L right now. So if I look on the floor, they're not in the shape of a T, they're in the shape of an L. And I'm going to use a twist step to get me from an L stance to a lunging bow and arrow stance. Now, the first thing you need to do is you have to make sure you are tucked. Your pelvis has to be tucked under, rolled under, whatever term you want to use. It has to be pulled slightly under. That will benefit your low back by stretching it out, and it will benefit your abdominal wall by tightening it up. And all you have to do is this. Now, look at my knees. Watch my knees. If I don't tuck, see how my knees are? Now, if I tuck, notice that it has rolled my legs out at the hips, therefore bringing my knees out so they're more in line with my toes. Benefit right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift from my, um, this would be my right leg, this may be your left leg if you're mirroring me. Shift into the center, tuck, and as I go through that center point, my weight is about 50-50 right now. It's half on here and half on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shifting to my front foot. For me, that's my left foot. For you, it might be your right if you're mirroring me. I'm going to pick up my toe on my back foot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this all strapped up. I'm going to imagine that all my tendons and ligaments are just buckled into each other all the way from my foot up into my thigh and hip area and this inguinal crease here that the Chinese call the qua. Now, with this as one unit, I'm going to make sure that my weight is not up here or I feel like I'm going to fall. I'm going to sink my weight. I'm going to relax. <sighs> Just let it all go. Relax your chest. Relax inside. Pick up your toe and then from your thigh, from your hip, turn, turn. Keep this leg bent. Keep it stable. Turn, 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 turn. When your foot is flat on the ground, you can release all that all those straps in there, those imaginary straps. Unbuckle them, relax, and sink not over your front leg, but sink straight down. Okay, let's do that again. So let's imagine we're gonna do this. Let's put our, let's put our feet together like this. Okay, let's step out. I'm gonna step out with my left leg. If you're mirroring me, it's your right leg. So let's take this, turn it out on the hip, step it out comfortably where we can manage. Okay, if you put it too far, It'll get unwieldy. Don't bite off more than you can chew when you do Tai Chi. Step it out comfortably. Back here so it makes an L, not a T. Okay, I don't want to make a T stance. I want to make an L stance. Then I'm going to shift my weight into the center. As I start to shift into the center, I make sure I pull my pelvis under. Then I can start picking up the toe. I leave my heel on the ground, of course. And I'm going to sink. I'm going to relax. That's very important because if you're up here, it's very difficult to do a twist step correctly. So this will also teach you the principle of sung or relaxing, unnecessary tension out. 
and I'm going to turn this. This is mobile. This is immobile. This is rock solid. This is what you could call yin or stable, unmoving. This is yang or moving. So turn. It's like you're turning at the thigh. Don't think so much of turning at the foot. Think more about turning at the thigh because that will make you turn in your qua, which is where you should be turning into. You're going to just fold right into the qua there. And notice my torso is going with it. And then you relax. You just let everything sink down, straight down into the earth. Relax. <sighs> now what a lot of people do is they'll do this. They'll put this out. This part's correct. This part's correct. They'll pick this up. They'll start doing this, which looks correct, but then they'll sink back onto that foot and come forward. That destabilized this entire leg and just destabilized the stance. What you want to do is make sure everything, the whole part of you, is moving as one unit. So think of this. If you have a house and you have a door frame, this is the frame of the door. This is the hinge. This is the door. Now, you want to make sure that when you open and close the door, the door frame doesn't shake all over in the wall, right? You want to have your frame very stable and secure into the wall. Then you hang your door on the hinge, and that door should swing freely. That's what that twist step is. This front leg here that's going to be the, the front of your bow and arrow stance is like the door frame. This claw connected to the leg that's going to move that's the hinge. This leg that is moving on the twist step, that's the door. So you step out, sink, relax, so that you're working with gravity instead of against it. Start to pick up the toe. You've got to relax. Be very loose. And then you're going to turn the door. You're going to move the door in the hinge. The door frame stays in place. And then you relax this all out in here. Just relax. Let it go and there's your twist step. What you'll often see people do is cheat. And you, can, you can even look on this on YouTube and you'll see in performances and in certain Tai Chi videos you'll see things like this. People will go out like this and they'll just kind of smush their foot on the ground or they'll, they'll start turning it on the, the heel and then they'll start twisting it on the toe and that's not proper for the art of Tai Chi. You don't do that in Tai Chi Chuan. That's completely incorrect. And anyone who has any education whatsoever in physics or in mechanical engineering or um, a good anatomist or a good orthopedic doctor can tell you that, yeah, that's, that puts undue stress on your joints and it will completely disintegrate any whole body power and connection that you had. It, it's, it's totally wrong. So make sure that you don't care about looking pretty. Make sure that you care about doing your Tai Chi correctly. As a byproduct, it will look pretty. So again, even if you're doing performance Tai Chi, be very careful because if you repeatedly subject yourself to an improper twist step, you're going to damage yourself. There's no way around it. There's gravity. There's physics. It's, it's, just, it's more powerful than you. So again, you're going to step out. You're going to sink, pick up the toe, turn in the claw by moving the thigh, and then relax. You may find that if you're dominant on one side, such as if you're right side dominant like I am, it's easier to do with the right leg moving and a lot harder to do with the left leg. That's okay. You just need to practice more. Then it'll be easy. I get into this in a lot more detail in my programs, but this is the basic for how you would execute a twist step properly. Please work on it. Please protect yourself. So again, you shift the weight. When it hits the 50-50 mark, you can start twisting, continuing to shift and sink and spiral that energy down into place and everything will lock out into the proper position. You can just relax. Okay? Take care of yourself. Remember that Tai Chi should be an art that enriches your life and your well-being, whether you do it martially or for health. Zai Jin.